Triple Grip Positioning System for Trendelenburg, part of the Hot Dog Patient Warming System. The only heated grip solution for Trendelenburg positioning providing better warming to help prevent the adverse effects of hypothermia. Protection against patient movement. A friction-based solution that meets AORN recommendations. Waffle Grip evenly distributes friction and mechanical grip to eliminate localized pressure points and shearing forces. And an integrated solution, combining patient warming and securement with one easy-to-use and cost-effective system for enhanced efficiency. Here's how to get started. Waffle Grip must be used in conjunction with the Hot Dog Patient Warming System. Place the U300 Hot Dog Patient Warming Mattress Overlay on the operating table pad. The mattress overlay should be aligned with the perineal cutout of the OR table. Secure the mattress overlay to the side rails of the table using the six durable reusable black straps. To attach a strap to the mattress, separate the end flap from the mushroom button on the strap. Insert the strap's mushroom button through the mattress overlay loop and secure the flap over the mushroom button. To secure the mattress to the OR table, thread the strap through the side rail and fold back over. Then secure it to the same mushroom button. Ensure that the straps are pulled taut before securing to the mushroom button. Each side of the U300 mattress overlay has four securement loops. Secure a strap in three loops per side for maximized stability. Utilize the loop at the head end of the table and two of the three loops at the foot end of the table. If a loop is positioned over a side rail connector or another obstruction, use one of the other available loops. If necessary, always loop the strap on the foot end side of an obstruction to prevent settling in Trendelenburg position. Once the mattress is secured to the operating table, it is time to set up waffle grip. Remove the contents of the waffle grip kit from the plastic packaging. Place the smaller plastic bag of components off to the side for later use. Position the kit flat on the U300 warming mattress as indicated on the printed diagram. Unfold the waffle grip pad over the warming mattress. Thread the blue power entry cable through the hole on the pad. Fold the excess pad at the head end underneath the warming mattress overlay. This next step is important. Tuck the reinforced flap of the waffle grip pad under the warming mattress at the perineal cutout. This anchors the pad to the mattress, which is secured to the operating table. The waffle grip draw sheet should be positioned roughly in the middle of the waffle grip pad. Connect the blue power entry cable from the mattress overlay to the female connector on the blue cable from the controller. Align the red dot on each connector and push together. Do not twist. Turn on the main power to the controller from the switch near the power cable. It will cycle through a diagnostic check and beep when ready. Toggle the temperature on the C port to 39 degrees Celsius, the maximum temperature. The waffle grip pad and draw sheet are now ready for the patient. For the purposes of this video, the patient is wearing a gown. During real surgery, the patient's gown would be removed so that the skin would come in direct contact with the waffle grip pad. Do not place a barrier between the patient and the waffle grip pad. The friction and mechanical grip of the pad are designed to be in direct contact with the patient to ensure system effectiveness and to maintain the high coefficient of friction. Also ensure that there are no obvious lubricants on the patient's back that may adversely impact the friction surface. Use the waffle grip draw sheet to reposition the patient, if necessary, after induction of anesthesia. After the patient is in the proper position, secure the arms using the draw sheet. The draw sheet goes up near the patient's torso, between the arm and the body, and then wraps around the arm. It is secured by tucking it under the warming mattress. Do not tuck between the patient and the waffle grip material, as this will decrease the friction surface. 
Remove the two sections of the safety strap. Thread one through the side rail and back through the metal buckle, ensuring that the words this side up are facing up. Place a thin sheet over the patient where the blanket will go. Now place the control panel of a B105 blanket on the patient's upper torso. If necessary, fold it purple side to purple side while making sure that the sensor is still in contact with the patient. Any extra sheet should be placed on top of the blanket to ensure only a thin barrier is between the patient and the blanket. Then use the Velcro to join the two sections of the safety straps across the blanket to hold it in place. Fold the second panel of the multi-position blanket lengthwise so that the black side is facing towards the patient and place around the patient's head. Use the two clips from the kit to secure the edge of the panel to the secured panel on the patient's chest or the safety strap. There will still be access to the patient's face while providing warmth around the patient's head. Connect the blanket's yellow cable to the yellow cable from the controller by pushing them together. Set the temperature at the controller to the maximum setting of 43 degrees Celsius. Hot Dog provides conductive, radiant, and infrared heat transfer above and below the patient for better warming outcomes. The warm surface is a huge patient satisfier and provides a head start on combating intraoperative hypothermia. The patient can now be positioned in Trindelenburg without risk of the patient sliding. The coefficient of friction between human skin and waffle grip pad is 1.1. The maximum recommended angle is 40 to 45 degrees.